Hello everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. So today we are going to carry on with Applied Energistics. We've got a few things to do first of all. I need a little bit of things to be upgraded. I'd like to upgrade the jetpack. I'd also like to upgrade the tank. In fact you can see the emerald on the left hand side here. And also behind me you will see I have been doing a bit of landscaping and cutting back on. Uh, there was a big sort of mountain behind me before wasn't there? Anyway, so let's get started. We're going to start with the turtle bit. So I have also built here a vacuum hopper from Kibi. The recipe for the vacuum hopper, by the way, is, uh, let's have a look. It's actually straightforward. It's bit, I've also made this as well. I made a chunk loader from Kibi. It's not that great. It's only five chunks, which is basically 40 blocks. Um, but it's fairly straightforward. Block of gold, eyes of ender. Uh, obsidian and the uh, enchanting table. We've got all. We've had all of those things anyway. And the vacuum hopper is here. Again, it's another eye vendor, a bucket of chest, and some. It, it, it's fairly very straightforward. Actually, it's a very powerful vacuum hopper. I'm surprised. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this turtle here, and I'm going to. It's one block in front of where I want to mine. So what I want to do is I want to mine from here. So this is position uh, four seven four. And I want to do a slice upwards to until we get to say here, I think. Yes, that'll do fine. So this is four th six six. So we take away what's well, twenty one blocks, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell this pro there's a program here called Flat Terrain, and I'll put the links to the Flat Terrain in, in the here. I think this has already got enough fuel in it. It does need a lot of fuel. And in fact, it needs to be full. Uh, have I got some lava with me? No, I don't have any lava with me. But I'm pretty sure this is just about full. It doesn't need to be too much. What it's going to do now, it's going to do it. It normally works like this. It sort of goes along here. No, it goes, sorry, it goes to the side, first of all. So it starts here, it goes left. And as it, as it goes left, it also goes backwards. So it makes sort of a snake pattern. So for example, the program we're going to use is called flat terrain, like this. And you then specify how wide you want it to be. So we want it to be 21 blocks wide. We want to have it just to be one block deep. And we want to check for one air block above. This program will dig up until it finds a row of air. And then it's finished. And that's all we need to do. So it's going to do this business now. And what it's actually doing is turning left and right. Now, because I have got a one row, it doesn't have any effect. Probably could take this out of the program. And you'll see it's going to dig down here and it should dig till here. And then it will dig, dig vertically upwards. So it'll start here and then it'll basically keep digging up here like this. Um, so it'll do, it'll do one row at a time like this. Uh, and as it comes back, it does each row from starting from this point here. And he just it also picks up, drops a bit of XP as well. I must have miscounted that. <laughs> it looks like I've only done a few, so I'll just have to get this, pick it up. I'm 10 short, I think. Let's just dig, dig it up like that. So let's put it back down again. So what I have to do to put it down again is I need another block just below it here. Ah, oh, yes, I could use the dank. The dank is great. I have, I'm going to upgrade the dank today. And it's got two modes. And the modes are configured by having a look at the, let's have a look at that first of all, options, controls, and you go down here and you should find a dank. And the dank is one, got one key, and it's the actual I key here, dank storage, construction mode. So what we do is we press I on this, like this, and it's at the moment, it's a bag. And then you get construction mode. And if we open it up back, let's go back again and have a look at the bag here. So you'll see it's got all of these items in, so it's pretty full. Uh, I've got 11 diamond ore and uh, only two emerald ore, but I've got a lot of that already out of here. See, we've got some st stacks of uh, gold and not so much iron, actually, but reasonable amount. But tons and tons of uh, cobblestone. And what you can do with these is you can select which slot it's going to do the construction mode in. So we, we go back to construction mode. So you hold down the shift and mouse scroll and it will take you through the different items in there. And then all you need to do is right click that down there and it puts that block that's highlighted in here. Now, um, where did the thing go? <laughs> it went in there. In fact, as you said, uh, 
as I said before, this vacuum up is very powerful. It actually picks up almost everything immediately. So let's put the, let's put the, the turtle back down again. And that, I think I was ten blocks short, wasn't I? So flat train uh, thirty one 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 like that, and then it should go off and do another ten blocks. So it just looks like it should be ten blocks. Let's just have a look here. Double short, double check. Yeah, that's about that. In fact, you have got a chest down here already, and it's got lots of stuff in it. I've got another diamond chest up here, which I also can't deal with at the moment because I haven't got enough capacity. And so what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the dank storage first thing we're going to do. We're also then going to update, upgrade the jetpack. So at the, the current jetpack was a silver jetpack. So the next level of dank is this one here. Uh, it's just blocks of emeralds around it. So all we need to do is push that into here like that. And then we get this dank four. So that's an achievement. Let's have a look at this. Um, let's change the mode again, pressing I, get to the back mode. We get an extra row. And of course we can then sort this. And then it's already sorted a lot more space because items that were stacks that were already full and now not full and as you can see we've got enough capacity at the moment to do all of that uh cobblestone so that then means i can do some smart stuff for that but first of all let's just do the we can break those chests that are down there and it'll automatically pick up the stuff so here we need 11 of these advanced coils let's have a look at the, at the one we're going to do first of all it's on jetpacks isn't it so let's just look jet so we want to do, we've got the silver one. Okay, um, but, but, but this one here. And then the uses of this one, we can make the next level up. And I've chosen to do Invar. Because we've got plenty of nickel. We've got plenty of uh, uh, basically nickel like that. So you look at these recipes here, we need uh, Invar um, capacitor. And that's taking Invar ingots plus uh an energy core, an environment which requires these advanced coils. We need 11. You always need 11 for all of them. Whatever whatever type you're doing, you need 11. So we put half of those into here like that. And then we should get five energy cells. Get them all back. And then from that, we can then make up, using this, we can put those rolls these down here so we get the capacitor. So that's the first block that basically goes in the top. I should put it in place really, couldn't I? like that the next one here is where we use two we need two thrusters so the thruster recipe for this one is uh, a furnace three coils and a energy uh, and a energy cell so it's the same for all of these it doesn't make any difference we need three of these and we've got three coils which are left over so like that so we can make two thrusters so there we go like this and then the last one is where we use the silver jet pack. So we've got some invar ingots, so we need the two thrusters to go down here, and the capacitor goes at the top, and bingo, we have the invar energy. So this one now takes how much power? 1.2 million, it takes 12 million, so it's got 10 times more. It also goes up, fuel usage goes up, and the vertical speed and the horizontal speed also goes up quite a lot. In fact, it's actually a little bit too fast. I've got some uh, visitors, where are they? Right, they're about to disappear, but they're pulling my horse for some reason. Huh? <laughs> Let's get rid of him. It's quite a good way to get a bit of health in, by the way. Just take about two hits, good. But unfortunately, he's near my horse, so I have to bring him a bit away from my horse. <laughs> oh, and I built a little farm here of characters. You can't reach me from there. <laughs> oh, we might be able to, actually. Let's go back a bit. Right, good, now he's coming, I can get him. With, that, with a sword, of course, it's a bit of a... Huh. Thank you. What did he give me? Well, I, only, I only got one piece of love there that time. Hmm, interesting. Strange, I should have got more than that. Anyway, a little farm, some sheep, some cows and some pigs. Um, I've bred them up a little bit, not too much, just to get a, a few. Oh, here we go. See, now this is actually... F it's dropping the stuff off, as you can see. It's now done three levels. Well, I'll let that finish, and then we'll go and do the next one. So now, that's done. Let's do the applied energy sticks. 
Now, well, actually, while I'm while I'm doing this, let's put this into, the, into here. It's obviously not going to. It's going to take forever to charge this up. By the way, um, the best I can do is to get Mike's. Uh, where I've got it now. I think I've got. It's in my backpack. Yes, I've got this one here. Um, so if I put this shulker box down here and then take out two lava cells, I can put the lava cells into the into this generator, that's the gas turbine, into the thermal generator here. It's actually already full, so let's take those out of there like that. Well, the empty cells don't come out. That's generating a little bit more power because it's night time. I also built some more inscribers. We'll come on to those in a minute. Um, break this. So next thing. So look, at, I want to look at the book. Light energy sticks. So we've got a, a unclaimed reward. Let's have a look. Which should probably be the the dank that we just did. Open this one up. And where is it now? Here it is. Yes, we did the dank. So we get <laughs> eight pieces of white wool. Fantastic. <laughs> and nine blocks of emeralds. Right. Um, eight, eight blocks of emeralds. Tell you what, it's night time. I'll be back in a second. Right, here we are. So we completed this first whole line. So now we're going to start with the next part along here, which is probably going to... This one's later on. This is all high-level stuff with remote control, uh, with wireless stuff. Um, this is storage. So we're going to start down here. And this bit here is um, assembly or manufacture, if you like. So we can basically produce this. Uh, so that's the ME interface. It's where you need to start basically doing stuff. But first of all, I think our biggest problem is to do storage. So let's have a look at that. that go back and have a look at that again. So now we need to start with an ME controller. So we need to make one ME controller. So let's have a look at that. So let's go back to applied. Me. So if we type there, this will be the recipe for the ME controller. So we need an engineering processor. Uh, some pure fluix crystals, we've dealt with that already in Skystone, we've got from when we actually did the collected the inscriber plates, which was actually very early on, I think about the second episode, wasn't it? And that will produce this. Now the engineering processor, so you need an engineer printed engineering circuit and a printed silicon with one redstone will make this engineering processor. So let's start with silicon because we need to make some of that to start with. So you need the inscriber silicon press with a silicon. We'll make this sil printed silicon a little bit of a rabbit hole, but not too difficult. So you can either grind up 30 quartz or quartz and then smelt it and it will produce the silicon. Okay, pretty straightforward. I think that's the only recipe there is. Um, all of them just smelt it, basically. That's it. The grinding of this one here. Um, the production of this is just in the grinder. I don't think there's any doubling in this. So if we take one of those, we get one. This one actually... Oh, this is from Redstone doing it in the centrifuge. But that's a different centrifuge. That's more than industrialization. We still only get one. Uh, Mesa rate, again, we actually do get a little bit more production from a macerator because we use quart crushed quartz dust which we do from quart nether quartz or okay which actually gives us four but that again is again in the industrial in modern industrialization mod we haven't got that far yet no reason for it just i'm doing one at a time so anyway so we smelt that up which i've already done and it's here got half a stack of that already ground up and smelt it because we did all the rest of the stuff before and I think I've probably got some more bits and pieces in here that we need. So we do need the presses. So we need a logic press with four of them. An inscriber engineering press, an inscriber silicon press, and an inscriber calculation press. And what we can do with these, we can put those into here like this. So we put one in each one. So we'll start with the silicon press like that. Put that in. Just shift clip them into place. The engineering press the next one. Um, calculation press, logic press, calculation press, and then the logic press. And the last one is the where we put everything together. So I built some more of these. They're actually just sitting on gold cable. And as you can see, the power, they're already charged up fully. This one here, we already did again. But what I've done here is I've put a hopper underneath it and a 
hopper on top of it. And all you need to do then is just take some, you know, this is for charge to quartz. So we've got, for example, here we've got two charge. Now let's just take, there's two down there. Let's just make, oh, 12. Like that, and then put those into here. They get fed in here, and as you can see, they get taken out. As soon as they get charged up, the time varies according to how the particular crystal. Now look down here. We've already got eight. The last one's taking its time. I'm not sure why. Probably it's running out of power a bit. Oh, well, it'll charge up. Yes, there you see, just drop down. So we've got nine. Four. What happened to the others? <laughs> seen this before they're just four that's empty that's weird i'm not quite sure what's going on but that's oh it's come through i'm sure there was more oh, maybe i was looking at the wrong one anyway diamonds let's get the diamonds out we'll make a couple of engineering presses let's do four we can automate eight Automate these in the same way, by the way. So all you need to do, oops, so the engineering press was this one. The shift click it and it'll take a while and it should, as you can see, progress comes up here. It gets, it gets finished and then you can take it out. Of course you can take it out with hoppers as well. So next thing, and in fact, I've actually done this fairly badly as it positioned these fairly badly as it happens. I would be better off placing a row of cables behind it. Um, but I'm going to move the base over here. That's what this is all about. So the other one was silicon. So let's get the silicon done. Like this. And that's the first one. So we can shift click that into there. That'll make one of those. Take shift click another diamond in here. Come back here, should be, able, should be able to get this one out. Yes, we can, and shift click it in again. Right, I'll be back in a second when I've got four of these ready. Right, I've actually made a lot more. But they do stack in the out in the output slot. They, just, they don't just stack in the input slot. So now we put all of these together. So let's put them together. We need, um, I'm going to make four. It doesn't matter which order you put these in, by the way. You can do it either side. So you can have the engineering press above or below. It doesn't make any difference. You can simply just click them in. So, for example, if we do it like that, It'll also work. Oh, redstone. Doesn't work until you've got the redstone in there, of course. And again, you can automate this. You can put lots of different um, hoppers around it to to feed it with items and take them out as well. You've got enough faces to do that. In fact, you actually just saw that open and close its its jaws, so to speak. I didn't get the no, I didn't click in. In fact, you can actually see it if you look down here. Excuse the whoopee cushion. There we go. And there we have the output. So we can take these out of it like that. So that means I have got prepared over here the rest of these some pure crystals. So we've just put one of those into that. That should actually have worked. Why doesn't it work? Is that Skystone? It is. Let's just double check this run. Skystone block. Oh, okay. I think I have to do something with the Skystone to get it to being Skystone block. And I think it's just put it in the crafting table. Something like this. No, maybe you have to heat it up. Let's have a look at the uses of Skystone. Skystone chest, and maybe I just have to cook it. Oh, I do have to cook it. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right. There we are. One catch. A bit like Smoothstone, isn't it? So let's put those into there like that. And I'll come back in a second when those are ready. Right, they're ready. Let's get those out of here now. I've got some stuff already cooked up, prepared for whatever we need it for. Uh, right, where is it? Over here. So that should be Skystone blocks. Fantastic. So we can make the controller like that. But I think that's about the only use for that we've got. So that all completed the quest, and it's actually also completed an achievement. So let's have a look. We get a cake back for that one. <laughs> Don't really need any cakes, to be honest with you. Fats and sweets. And sweets are very bad for you, especially in this particular pack. So now let's go. I wanted to do that again. Didn't I want to come back? Next item. So we have to make some f smart cable, and we have to make a tunnel. We don't want to do the tunnels yet. Like we don't need to do PPT tunnels until we start to do some long distance stuff. So we'll we'll just skip that one, and we'll just 
carry on with fluids crystal. So we've got to make one smart ME cable. So let's have a look at the recipe for that. They're actually fairly straightforward. This is the smart fluids crystal. So you've got two ways. Here you've basically this, if you put it with a bucket of water, that just gets rid of the color and produces just a smart cable again. Otherwise we need some covered ME, sorry, fluids ME covered cable. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Which you make with a piece of wool and an Fluix ME glass glass cable. We've made those already in the past, and we've been I've been making those with pure crystals because that has saved basically the all doubles. I said that before, didn't I? So what we can then do is we can take these out if we don't need those in there. Come along here. So what we need is some wool, and I have got some wool. I have a, what did I do with the wool? And normally I keep it in here because it's a mob drop, but I think I've moved. I thought I put them all down here as it happens. I uh, don't see them. Right, I shall just get some wool and be back in a second. Well, I just sheared a few sheep. That'll do. That'll do for that. Um, actually, while I'm here, let me just move this turtle up. So what we want to do is the next one of these. That's why I put this. I put a vacuum hopper, by the way, here. You can also get rid of the stuff in the vacuum hopper by simply. Um, in this particular case, yeah, there's nothing in the in the drone in the turtle itself. Let's so go into lure. And then we all need to do is move it up. So we want to go turtle up. Like that. Like that. If I was a bit of finger difficulty as usual. And then we want to go turtle forward. <laughs> I can't type really. I'm like, well, I guess but I think you know what happens. I press R and then you get the recipe for something. It's just a bit even in here, I'm just here and I'm pressing and typing it gets up there. I don't think that used to do it like that. So let's go forward. Like that. Exit. And then we just do flat terrain again. But instead of doing 31 blocks, we'll do 32. Like this. And that'll move it along what and start to dig along, as you can see. So what I should also do is to automate this. Now I can break this. So I'm having a little interlude here. Like that. As you can see, I picked up all of that stuff <laughs> and two chests, and I've obviously got something full. Um, so yes, I have. So what we need to do is put this back into our hot bar here. So let's just press five, put that into a hot bar, open it up. So any item that we haven't got in here will not get picked up. So that's dirt that should have got picked up. Ah, okay. That maybe pickups turned off. What does that say? I didn't see that. I had a little tool tip here, but I don't see. Tagging, I don't need to tag anything, I don't think. Oh, maybe that's what the... And maybe I do need to tag it. And maybe because I upgraded it, it's forgotten some of these settings that it's got in here like this. So we get rid of the stuff that we don't want. Um, with us like this, I think that's every... No carbonite was the last one. Right, good. Uh Let's just change this to construction mode and just go back to I want I want dirt. So you got like that and just right click those into position and you're done. Um so as you can see this is working along here and it's going back one extra block here. So that will allow us to basically just harvest this ourselves. So we can easily harvest this now. Like that. Easily go right up the top here to get rid of all of these blocks. Um and then we'll wait till the turtle, and we have to go back a couple of blocks and do the same thing. Just this manual bit it won't take very long. And that's why I'm not too bothered too much about it. And as you can see, it, it goes along here, uh, how it works. So that's the end of the, I don't need to display, uh, go through that anymore. I don't think except for when it comes to a flat part. And I did some flat parts at the top. Right, wool, 20. That'll give us 18 of these ME fluids cables which is actually a decent number so we then put those with some um glowstone and redstone got 22 of those so we then get these emmy smart cables oh another one go all right i'm back in we're back in a second and i'll get rid of these guys i'll actually can do it in front of you can i so now i only got one piece of I've got my lucky hat on too. I should be getting more than one from those. I'll just get rid of that stuff out of here. So that's that one done. And the next item in the list, let's go back to the book because it's 
I'll move this out of the way. So we've done that and we can claim the reward for that. And then move on to the next one, which is an interesting one. So we want to do one ME drive. Now the recipe for ME drive is this one. So we need four pieces of iron, two engineering presses and two fluids cables. I think I might have used all the fluids cables up. <laughs> Making silk ones. I'll be back in a second with some more fluix crystal. We can actually do this probably quicker just to do it, couldn't I? So we need some of these and we need some pure crystal pure crystals. In fact, let's just take 12. Put them down here like this. We should get what 24 is it? Or is it 12? Uh, 24. So we've got 24 ME fluids crystals now. Very quick. So uh, now. I don't know, I'm coming over to this one. could have done that where I was before. So what we need, we've got two of these, two of these and some iron. So I just need four pieces of iron, which will be in this chest here. I've only got three. Fantastic. <laughs> that wasn't very smart, was it? But I've got plenty in here. We've got three stacks in there. And now we can actually do that ME drive here, can't we? So we can shift click that. So we get the ME drive. So all we need to do now is to give these things some power. Uh, the power's a little bit awkward because it's actually underneath here. But we could do that. That's no big deal. Let's just go down a couple of blocks. And this is where we can start to use the smart cables. Um, they're here. These are a lot more expensive than to use the, the other ones. We can just put it down like this. And you see, it does link in, as, as you can see. So on top of that, we can then put another smart cable and then we can top on top of this, we can put the ME controller. And that should sort of hook wrong. Missed. Let's just get the quartz wrench out. My inventory's a bit full. I'll be back in a second with an empty inventory or emptier inventory. So I'll just shift right click that off there and then we can put the ME controller down. Like that, and it is working because it's flashing, very flashy thing this is. And when we can put the ME drive beside it, or we can, of course, extend the cables along from here. Um, as I said, I'm going to move everything to over here where we've got some space. I'll also, that's, but I'm going to do that between episodes. So we can actually put the ME drive down here. Um, but maybe it's a good idea to put one cable between the two. Like that, and the ME drive the ME drive is empty, so it needs some stuff in it. So the next thing on the quest is to obviously make a um, something to put in it. <laughs> so let's have a look at what the next one is. So we can claim this, we get some cherry pie and some iron. That's a bit better, I suppose. So the next one we have to make is a storage, a 1K love, which is we've got to make one ME, 1K ME storage cell. So this is this one, as you can see, the drive takes storage cells. It's interesting the way they've done this. I don't normally do that when I'm starting up with applied energistics, but we'll follow we'll follow the book in this particular case. So the ME one K storage cell is this one here. So it needs basically quartz glass, redstone, iron ingots, and a fluid. Did I put the wrong wrong one? I probably did, didn't I? An ME one storage cell. So we need a 1K storage cell. Or we can do it this way. So we can make these up. Let's just do it that way. And then put the storage cell beside it. Because then we can actually... Can save a bit. It's going to save a little bit of time. So we need some quartz glass. Um, we needed redstone. And we needed iron, don't we? I should have got the iron ready. So we'll make up whatever we can of those. So we'll probably make about eight, which is good because that's how many drive we've got. I think about eight drives that happens. So let's make up this one first of all. So we can make up eight because I made 16 quartz glass from that one. And then we can then come along here and make up this item, the ME storage component. So we can use some pure certis quartz crystals redstone and a logic processor gold is the is the item for the logic processor so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to automate that a little bit um i'm going to make a chest 
I really should make four che four chests, shouldn't I? One for each. No, five. Four chests. One for each one. So let's make some hoppers. Now, isn't that interesting recipe for hoppers that we're not ready to do yet? But uh, you can do some stuff in the rolling machine for hoppers like this. Um, but there is another one. So if you have a recipe for hoppers, you can actually do it. As you can see, we can use steel plates. That would make two hoppers. Now, steel plates will be from Tech Reborn, but we can also make the steel from industrial um, modernization. And that's actually a pretty cool one. So we can also use planks here, which is, makes that. But we can also use the assembler from modern industrialization too. And that will also make two, but from... Um, five steel plates and one motor or five steel plates and a chest will make two as well so there's different recipes for this so now i need to make up some calculation pro calculation process so i'm going to do is probably make up about four of those as well logic was it calculation logic process i've forgotten calculation i think it's this one Let's just shift. No, I can't shift click it in. If I can't shift click it in, then it's not that one. But this one, I can shift click that one in. On top of this, we'll put the hopper. Like this. I've got hoppers selected. I need to put hoppers down. Don't I? Let's put them all down like this. And now we can fill this up with gold. And it will start to auto should automatically feed that no i know i've done that wrong that will do the top side i actually need to put these in the bottom side um in the middle side otherwise it doesn't work i don't think i can even do that it doesn't matter which way around you do it i have to put it in the middle at the back so that's a bit of a shame so each face has its own bit so i'll make two of these up anyway tell you what i'll be back with these when they're all prepared so we now have four printed logic circuits. So we can now complete the, that, and it's probably the end of the episode, by the way. Let's have a look at this one. So we need to make the one case storage cell, which is made from this. So we've got redstone. Oh, I haven't got any certis quartz. Let's get some certis quartz, pure certis quartz out of the, out of the box here. We needed four, don't we? We need four, four redstone and one of these, and that's probably about it. I don't think we need anything else. Right again. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> Whoops! I only made this. I made the circuit, I didn't make the press. Um, so I need to do that as well. Put one of those in. One, one, and not clicking in. I have to put the other one in first. Where's the other one gone to? I'll put it away. Well, we did put it away as it happens. Let's just get it out of here. Yes, I've got these four. four out of here. Let's take those with us. I see. So I have to. So that one. That's good actually. It makes you, forces you to do it the right way around. So I can then, should be able to shift click the redstone into here like this. And if in this case, if I put a hopper on the top of this, which I haven't got any more left. Um, in fact, my inventory is completely full again. All right, I'll just get rid of this flower. Put the flower in here like that. And take the press out. So we now got the processor. So we should be able to make it one of these cores like this now. Do it that way around. So we've got one MEK storage set. So we can then put that with one of these. And it doesn't matter which position, I think it's it's um, shapeless crafting. So we've completed this one, and then we have a look at that. So I've now got the achievement better than chests, and we will get some fruit smoothies. So we'll claim the reward, and I'm going to have to put this food away because I'm full. My inventory is full of food as it happens. Grilled cheese sandwich is probably very good. Cherry pie, these fruit smoothies, and we can get rid of that. So that takes up all of that and then we'll have a look back at the quest to carry on and see what we can do next so the next one's a 4k so we have to make a 4k emu storage style and i'm going to bear that for next time
Well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it's not too long as well. Anyway, next time we shall carry on with some more applied energetics because at the moment what we've produced is not that useful. <laughs> we can't do much with it until we've got a terminal and some more storage in this drive. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>